Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. South Dakota's Supreme Court released its ruling on recreational marijuana Wednesday. The majority of the justices say it contained three subjects, recreational marijuana, medical marijuana, and hemp. Under the Constitution, a ballot measure or initiative can only have one subject. The lawsuit on Amendment A was brought forward by the Pennington County Sheriff and the Superintendent of the Highway Patrol. And essentially their opinion is that voters didn't know what they were voting on. And we think that that flies in the face of reality and, and logic. If you look just at the Election Day results, Amendment A received 54% of the vote. I'm personally opposed to recreational or legalization of marijuana. I think we should get our legs under us first in terms of medical marijuana, understand one, how to implement it, and two, the impacts of it before we rush down the road to, you know, unleash other drugs on, you know, South Dakota. Sheriff Tome was not the only public figure voicing his opinion on the ruling. Governor Nome tweeted about it saying, quote, South Dakota is a place where the rule of law and our constitution matter. Meanwhile, one of Amendment A's prime sponsors tweeted that he shares the frustration of hundreds of thousands of South Dakotans who had their votes thrown out. He says this will strengthen their resolve and, under God, the people rule. You can read the opinions other industry professionals and politicians have issued in response to Wednesday's ruling in this Kelloland.com original online now. Authorities in eastern Kelloland were called to a crash northeast of Sioux Falls late last night. A sergeant with the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office tells Kelloland News at least four people were in the car at the time. It's unknown how many are hurt, but injuries were reported. Speed and alcohol were factors in the crash. Charges are pending. A woman was arrested following a crash northwest of Parker. The Turner County Sheriff's Office says a deputy was called to the crash just after 7 last night. Once on scene, the deputy found a car in the ditch with some damage. The woman was still in the driver's seat and the car was running and in drive. After further investigation, she was arrested for DUI. Her blood alcohol was over three times the legal limit. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Brian Karstens in the Storm Center for a check of that cool Thanksgiving forecast. Happy Thanksgiving, Brian. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you as well. And it looks like a chilly one out there. Upper 20s, low 30s today in eastern Kettle Land. You look at these hourly numbers and they're not very warm compared to some of the days we've had lately. But Rapid City has an opportunity to warm back up to 51 today. I do expect, though, we'll have the benefit of the sunshine and also the wind speeds themselves will be fairly light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Some passing clouds coming through tonight, not quite as cold. And then tomorrow, we get to see those temperatures really climbing. Rapid City tomorrow afternoon could be in the middle 60s. Sioux Falls, I think if we hit the low 50s, we're doing pretty well. So overall, mild weather there. We'll talk more about the weekend coming up here in just a couple minutes. Thank you, Brian. A Native American restaurant is serving a traditional Thanksgiving lunch at the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House today. The staff, along with volunteers at the Watecha Bowl, were busy preparing some 200 meals in the restaurant's kitchen on Wednesday. The owner says it's important to reach out to the guests of the Bishop Dudley House to ensure that they can enjoy a meal today. We know those people, some people we're related to. Um, so, I mean, that's our people, it's our community. You know, like to us, it's not like we're doing something out of the norm or out of the ordinary. You know what I mean? Like, we're just. We do this normally. Restaurant owner Lawrence West doesn't observe Thanksgiving due to the checkered history between the U.S. and Native Americans. He says giving thanks and giving to the community shouldn't be reserved to a single holiday. You don't usually think of Thanksgiving and pizza, but once again, the owners of Boss's Pizza on Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls are preparing to share with others. They will be handing out about a thousand meals today. Instead of a buffet, they'll be providing meals through their drive up starting at 1030. Owner Heidi Seafelt says she and her husband get their family members together and serve others. We cook up some chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy and corn and pie and well, we get the pie from Costco <laughs> and we serve the community. Whoever wants to come, it's a free meal. Seafeld says they've been doing this as a family for 12 years. The meals are available on the bosses on Minnesota Avenue from 10.30 to 3.30.
That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right. Weather today is advertised colder, but only for a day. We're going to see things turning around nicely tomorrow. Let's have a look at the weather pattern ahead. You can see uh, really an absence of any significant rain or snow chances tomorrow. Pretty dry. A little west wind, and that's going to help us out. That's why we're thinking 60s for parts of western and southwest South Dakota. Sioux Falls will get that push of air into the 50s. Now, Saturday has a couple of things to talk about. We have an increasing wind from the northwest, so that that will make it feel a little cooler. And also remember, there are some passing clouds and even the hint of some sprinkles in the morning or a brief shower for somebody. Amounts of moisture, just hard to drum up anything significant here. So we're not going to drop any significant rain or snow maps. However, there is a little strip of snow still showing up across northern Minnesota. So we have that in mind, and then that'll pass off to the southeast. Overall, we get into Sunday. Still kind of chilly in our eastern counties at times, but West River will begin another warm up, and then that'll cycle us into Monday. And I think widespread 50s are very likely. So, you know, you can see some ups and downs in the seven day, but but it's definitely not nearly as dramatic as it could be this time of year. And the top end of the scale, we're going to be threatening some records next week. I feel pretty confident about that. 31 today in Sioux Falls, 32 our high temperature in Mitchell. Let's look at that seven day. For right now, we've kind of contained the zone of temperatures here into the 40s and 50s. So like tomorrow near 50, another opportunity for 50s on Monday. We're probably looking at a cool down Tuesday, then another swing back up just beyond the seven day forecast. Through and through, just I do not see the need to put any rain or snow in the forecast. Anything we see tomorrow or into Saturday, that is, in Aberdeen, looks to be very, very light. And the cooler days are around 40 or so, which is still not too bad. Pierre, central South Dakota, sprinkle chances there Saturday. How about those 50s? They'll be very common Sunday, Monday, probably again Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And Rapid City will run to the 60s tomorrow, probably another shot on Sunday and another run on Wednesday. Pretty tame for this time of the year. Check out details with our Storm Center update right now at Kevoland.com and have a happy Thanksgiving.